you know, does it feel, you know, at this point, uh, Ricky, with the season, a few it's a few weeks away here. I mean, how acclimated do you feel like you are, I guess, to this program and where you are in your career? Yeah, I'm excited. The season's right around the corner. It's, it's awesome. Football's almost here. So uh, I feel good with the offense. Just keep progressing every day. Keep getting everyone better. Keep getting myself better. And uh, I think big things are coming, so I'm excited. How did you end up at Pitt? Uh, it's been a long story. It's been a, it's been a crazy journey. Um, the short story is I was coming out of a junior college in California, and uh, Coach Watson called me up and got me a visit. And I fell in love with Pitt, so I'm here. I'm excited to be here. What did you like about Pitt initially? Um, I could just tell it was different just from the coaching staff. Uh, Coach Narduzzi and Coach Watson, you could tell that they're, they're teachers and that they're, it's, it's more of a family unit here. It's more about football. So uh, that, I really fell in love with that, and I could tell that I was going to learn more about the game of football. And just, mm -hmm. I wasn't just going to be another body. I was going to actually learn football here. So that was really awesome. What do you feel like you've learned so far? Oh, geez. Uh, too, too much to say. Um, a lot. I mean, um, in another interview, I was telling um, the reporter that we have QB school, and it's uh, you would think it's all about the offense. We spent a month just talking about defense, just about the defensive fronts. So uh, just been learning a lot about football, a lot about defensive football, situational football, offensive football. So it's been it's been awesome. Which, what's been your impression of uh, Kenny Pickett so far? And just talk about your uh, your I assume uh, healthy relationship. Kenny's the man. Kenny's awesome. Um, learning a ton from him. Um, we always chop it up back and forth. Uh, he asked me about what I what I saw out there, and I asked him the same. So it's been it's been awesome. It's been real helpful. Does he seem older than a sophomore? <laughs> Absolutely. He's definitely uh, loved his years. He's a real real uh, real great player. It's really awesome. Everybody wants to play. What's it like being a backup to a guy who's pretty much the sensation of camp so far? Um, you know, it's like I said. I've been learning a lot from Kenny, and I have a great example to learn from him. Um, like you said, everyone wants to play. Obviously, want to get out there. Um, I'm excited to watch what Kenny does, and I'm ready to go in whenever whatever happens. Ricky Narduzzi said that he thinks uh, Coach Watson might be the best quarterback developer he's had here at Pitt. How does he compare to some of the, the quarterback coaches that you've worked with through your time in, in college? Uh, like I said, the uh, quarterback school is right. such a big thing, and we do it so many times. So that he really takes pride in that and teaching us defense first. So there's a there's a reason why it's not we're not just out there running plays for no reason. He actually tells us why, so you understand. So. I think he's he's been the best quarterback coach I've ever had, so it's been awesome. Did, did you uh, play or, or interact much at all with Will Gregg when you were at Arkansas? Yeah, we were both at Arkansas <laughs> together. Uh, that was my dude. We were both on the scout team. I'd always, <laughs> I'd always throw it up to him. He'd come down with the ball, so yeah, that's my dude. So when you heard he was coming here, that, that, that was awesome. He texted me. He texted me that he was uh, taking a visit there. I was like, oh wow, that's, <laughs> that's sweet. It'd be awesome. So I just told him all about Pitt, how awesome I like it, and uh, about the coaching staff and everything. And so I'm glad he's here. Is it a pretty good uh, backup battle going on between you and Nick Patty, the freshman? Yeah, absolutely. Nick's coming in. He's, he's looking great, too. Uh, he's a hell of a player. Uh, he's picking up the offense. So I'm just we're, Like I said, with Kenny, we all kind of just talk, and um, there is no animosity. We're all trying to help each other, help the team. So it's been real great. Number two guy gets to keep number 12, or how's that work? Yeah, <laughs> everyone's asking that. I mean, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> I guess the good thing is that we won't be on the field at the same time. So, <laughs> Ricky, what, what can you get from a live day like today? You know, throwing into the past skeleton, getting some you know live reads out of yeah. the secondary. What what can you learn from today that you couldn't in the earlier practices? Uh, I think it's definitely different. I mean, seven on seven is a lot different than live period when you have people running mm -hmm. at your face and trying to hit you. So it's definitely it's good, especially with the season around the corner. It's good to get it for everyone, the linemen, the defense, the receivers, everyone. Running backs is good for everyone to get that real football feel. But no one's got to touch the quarterback, right? We're not supposed to, so <laughs> it might ding us a little bit, but no, it's, it's, been, it's been good.